Beautiful offering of music. How yeah. about that? Welcome back. Welcome, Biggity, back. Another yeah, episode. Man. What is this? Episode 12? Episode, episode 12. 12. We Sound Crazy Podcast. Yours we truly, Fillionaire in the building. Claude Kelly in the building. Chuck Harmony is in the building. Bacon from Macon in the building. That's what I'm oh, talking yeah. about. Yeah. Bacon from Macon. <laughs> <laughs> bacon from motherfucking Macon. How y'all doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. Getting, Great. Getting back in the rhythm. I'm, I'm glad I made it here. I didn't, you know... <laughs> <laughs> the schedule the schedule was packed the schedule, the schedule was, was busy it, just, it wasn't on the, it was on the schedule but wasn't on the schedule somebody in my we got, office we got bumped off or something more yeah, important something some idiot who's talking in the mic right now forgot to <laughs> put it on his calendar so I'm the I, I get, I'm giving myself the donkey of the day away <laughs> Now, we but, almost lost Phil, you know, Nah, but you're here. You're here. I'm here. That's yeah. all that matters. And I'm excited. I'm feeling good. I got a little four roses in my cup. And yeah, man. Yeah. I'm drinking tequila tonight. Wow. What, what's, the, what's the tequila called again? Uh, Casamigo? Yeah. Casamigo. Yeah. Casamigo. I'm not really a tequila drinker, so we'll see how this goes tonight. But, you know, fuck it. Oh. Hmm. It's the summertime. And Timon's drinking holy water for anybody listening. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. Look at, look at, you hear the ice? You can literally hear the ice in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> the Chick Fil A cup, at that. In the Chick Fil A cup. Everything Man. tastes better in a Chick Fil A cup. I could see that. That's actually a nice quote. Everything tastes better in a Chick Fil A cup. Yeah. It's deep. That's deep, Timon. Mm -hmm. That's deep. That song. That song gave me a vibe. I don't know if it's the same year, but you know what that reminds me of? What? what, what who? Who did? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. I wish I had a rabbit and a hat and a hat. Then, oh, come on, that that fucking record, man. Play that. Play that. Hello. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Wish I had a rabbit and a hat with a bat and a six form part. I wish I was like six foot nine so I could get with Leo. She cause she don't know me, but yo, she's really fine. You know, I see her all the time everywhere I go. And even in my dreams, I can scheme a way to make her mine. Yo, I'm where is Skilo now? Where, where the fuck is Skilo? Where's Skilo? Where's Skilo, man? Where's man. Skilo? Come on, Phil, look it up real fast because Skilo. Cause Skilo, Skilo. We need to we need to find out. That's a great record. I love that record. I love that song. He had another record called uh, Top of the Top of the Stairs or something like that. Top of the Stairs? Top of the Stairs. It, it was a, like his second single, and then he went away after that. Yeah. But it was really dope. Give it up to Ski Low. Ski Low. Ski Low. For then, it was dope. Yo, your cup is mad loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Moroccan. Oh, ghetto ass cup. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sound effects by Timon this episode. <laughs> I don't, I'm looking on uh, Wiki. It doesn't seem like any activity from Ski Low. Has, um, has since occurred. 2013, he had his third album, Fresh Ideas, released on his own label. Oh, shit. Skilo Music oh. via iTunes on November 2012, and it appeared in stores in July of 2013. Oh. Nice. So, yeah. <laughs> any of our listeners know where Skilo is, or Skilo, if you're listening, please, uh, at Lewis York, they're looking for you. <laughs> so fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> We sound crazy. You know what else that remind me of? What? Domino. You remember uh, oh, Ghetto yeah. Jam? Domino. Oh, I used wow. to love Domino, man. Play a little, play play a little Domino. Domino. Here we go, here we go. Where the tune starts to look with the fat, fat, fat. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. It's the great switch and move your feet. Hey, hey. 
<laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, all right, all right. Since we're on Song woo. Association, what does that remind you of, Timon? Ooh. Um, First thing that comes to your mind. I can tell you what that reminds me of. What? Warren G and Nate Dogg Regulators. I, I don't know. It just it, it puts yeah. me in the same. I know what I'm saying, yeah. Timon. Regulator. That's not talking about a smash, 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 smash. Regulators. We regulate any stealing of his property. We're damn good too. But you can't be any geek off the street. Got to be handy with the steel. So if you have to meet her, you can't. It is. Regulators. Mount up. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon Warren G was on the streets, trying to consume Some skirts for the E, so I could get some phones Rolling in my ride, chilling all alone Just hit the east side of the LBC On a mission trying to find Mr. Warren G Seen a car full of girls, ain't no need to tweak All of you search know what's up with 213 Love that record, man, man. Love that song, man Dope record. It takes Shit. me back to like Going to my cousin's house in the project Yeah And then like him playing his I think my aunt bought him like the cassette single of that that record and he just played it all the time shit that's man. that was real music yeah god that sounds good Phil yeah, man. I love Nate Dogg let's just talk about that I love Nate Dogg just, yeah. just as his own entity rest in peace Nate Dogg uh, God who's crazy Dog child, nah, nah. say my name say my name no one is around you say baby I love you you acting kind of shady, ain't calling me baby. Why the sudden change? Say my name, say my name. You know when it's around, you say, baby, I love you. If you ain't running game, say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady, ain't calling me baby. Better say my name. Another day, I will call, you would say, baby, how's your day? But today, yeah. Listen. So it is the 20th anniversary of the writings on the wall this wow. year. Do you believe that's 20 years? Time flies. Man, time flies. That was uh, Rodney Jerkins. Yes, sir. Oh, Dark Jay. Child, not not. Dark Child. <laughs> Dark Child. And uh, oh, yes. penned by... The one and only. One of the greats. One of the greats? One of the greats. Of all time. Is it one, you, Chuck, Claude? Who? One of the greats. Oh, yeah, not, not me. Either. Not you. Not no, me. one of the greaters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> one of the greaters. <laughs> Greater than I. Greater listen, than I. Listen, listen. Mencha said about Beyonce and Kelly and Michelle, yeah. and a lot happened during that time with that video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that was when the switching of the, of the group happened with that video. Yeah. But people don't talk about the man behind right. that, that th th those lyrics, that melody, that arrangement. Yeah, that was a vocal arrangement. Vocal right? arrangement. Crazy, man. And we're talking about you just played one, and there is there are hundreds. Yeah. That, that was the song that. that made me buy the record, the yeah. full album. Yeah, yeah man. Yes. For sure. Yes, 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 yes. Who are we talking about? We talking about the one and only. LaShawn Daniels. LaShawn Daniels. Yo. Yo, shiz. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all. Right. Yeah, it's all right. My yes, brother, you said yes, you, you uh I'm just giving you a heads up. You you uh in the midst of the We Sound Crazy weekly podcast with yours truly Fillionaire, Timon Bacon, <laughs> Chuck Harmony, <laughs> and Claude Kemp. Oh, what, what up, Shiz? What up? What up, Shiz? By the way, hold on, hold on. I got my own theme music. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't worry. You got your hold up. Who who has their own theme music on the phone? For their guest appearance, for their guest appearance on guest someone else's <laughs> shit. <laughs> First of the all, nerve. I heard that from Phil Thor. Uh, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know that um, back in the day, um, the coming to America whole premise of coming to America started in one scene Phil was doing an interview and I think he was in Brooklyn at the time and as he was doing the interview this young lady just kept throwing flowers at his feet every time oh, he walked so that, 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 that inspired the whole idea. that inspired the you entire know what I'm saying? and then they just a whole shout out to Eddie Murphy right you know what I'm <laughs> for giving him the who idea who took it and flipped it right yeah. who <laughs> took it to higher heights ladies and gentlemen we got the one and only LaShawn, Sean, Big Shiz Daniels, yes man. Sir, one and only, man. Let this me, is, this is one and only, man. Theme music and all, man. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm so happy to be on the phone with such greatness. Let me just tell you, they, they call you the one and only until Claude calls you oh two months prior, but then cancels you and never calls you back. Wow, the shade. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> the shade. Say, uh, you know, he'll, he'll figure it out. 
after, after, right, after, Carl, speaking, because... after speaking so positively about you just yeah. now. <laughs> well, listen, Claude, listen. The reason I brought that up because, Claude, it's time for people to know the truth. <laughs> okay? I'm an asshole. It's time, it's time, no, no, no. It's time for people to know the truth. Okay. And I, you, you're not going to give them the truth. So thank God you called me. This whole interview is getting ready to backfire. Oh, I want God. to know. I want to know. When you wrote like I did, like I do for R. Kelly, <laughs> did you figure he was gonna do it like he did? Oh, <laughs> Holy oh, shit! shit. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Buck your seat, Here we go. 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 For your way. Let me let me let me tell you something. I wrote the mess out of that song. Absolutely. I wrote the Absolutely. mess out of it, and Absolutely. and R. Kelly, R. Kelly is 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 paying the price for crazy behavior. But I don't take away that alleged, fact, alleged, alleged. But alleged. That, that thank, don't take thank you, that Phil, don't, you know Phil knows that. Anyway. That don't take away the fact that he's. <laughs> He's bar none one of the best male R and B artists to have done it musically in my lifetime. Absolutely. So, absolutely. But here's the thing, and I listen. I, I don't want to go off, right? So y'all, <laughs> please wrote me back in. But I feel like I'm in a room of greatness. I gotta know in this room of greatness, y'all know like I'm the biggest R Kelly fan in the world, right? Yeah. yeah. In this room of greatness, being that he used his stardom and his genius to allegedly, like Phil said, do a lot of things. Are we at liberty to separate him from the artistry when the artistry was in fact used to allegedly lure some of his victims? Mm. Well, <clears throat> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I know Phil. Like, I got a, I got a whole other set of questions for Phil. I oh know man! He, listen, we can we got to protect Phil. You know, certain yeah. things he can't speak. Oh, on. oh yeah, we have, we have to protect Phil, but Claude is Claude is, is, is shark bait. <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Cool, and, cool. And, and it says you know that is Claude's cousin, you know. So you got. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> there are many Kellys out there in the world. So he's just trying to protect his. That's family. the real secret. Absolutely, oh, absolutely. Shit. Well, Claude, have, have you ever had sex with R. Kelly? Right? Oh, damn, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't recall. But now, I, and, I, and I didn't want to go back into that part of my memory right now. But I'm just gonna say a strong no for for, for the safety of of of, 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 my, of my my family and my legacy here, man. <laughs> Yo, Shiz, Jeez. what up? Yo, Shiz, it's Fillionaire. Question: yes. We just we were just listening to Destiny's Child say my name. We, can you believe it's been twenty years since that record wow. uh, came yeah, out? Yeah, man. We're in the twentieth anniversary crazy. of the Writings on the Wall album. What do you remember about Say My Name? That session, that whole yeah. that, that collaboration, brother. Like, Spilt, what do you remember? Spill the beans. Spill the beans. <laughs> Spill the, the teens. What are you so crazy? You know, I I, I um, I'm reminded because I just did an interview uh, for Billboard mm. in regards to twenty years of the song. It's I feel like I'm a million years old. But the number one thing I remember about that record is how it all came together. One, it's a true story. Mm. It is a absolute true story. People don't know. I have, you know, everybody knows I'm married. I have a beautiful wife, April Daniels. I've been married and I just celebrated my 19 year anniversary. Wow. Shout out April. So, yeah, you know man, what I mean? Congrats. For, yeah. for putting, for putting up with you for 19 thing. years. <laughs> Pretty much, right? <laughs> but, you know, before... Um, before I got saved and I was under the um, Phil Thornton ministry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I backslid I backslid a little bit. And, and I, have, I had a son before April and I, you know, got together. And his his mother, um, you know, she knows how I feel. You know, we're adults now, but she knows she's was crazy and has been crazy for a long time. And <laughs> allegedly, and that, is, <laughs> and right. that was that was one of the things that I went through. You know, I, I would be in sessions and working, and I would get the phone calls, and she like, "Where you at? What you doing?" I'm like, "Hey, you know what I'm doing?" And she would say things to me like, "All right, well, uh, if, if you just working around a bunch of guys and say my name, then like, tell me you love me, like the weird stuff, just like that." And that's where the concept came from. Once wow. we got into it, it was crazy. Once we got into the studio and we were talking about relationships, like, wait, first of all, before I finish this story, you know, the Beehive is serious. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. The show's serious. Super it's serious. serious. So I, um, I'm a tread lightly, but they know that Beyonce was in a relationship prior some years ago. And as I was telling this story, you know, she could totally uh, relate because it was coming from a male perspective. 
Mm. Her her ex, you know, now of course, at the time would do similar obnoxious things to her. Mm. So um, the first verse was pretty much a. a, a Is that a train a here, nigga? Is that it's here? Oh, it's a train here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We forget we in the country. We in the, we in the country <laughs> out here. Trains pass by and shit. You might hear roosters in the background, but carry Man, on. That's crazy, Bill. You forgot you bought Neverland. <laughs> and <there's a> train. <laughs> You keep going, Shiz. Keep going. Yeah, keep I'm going. sorry. 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 <laughs> oh shit. But no, she had a, she had a, a, a similar experience. So what's crazy is we got together and basically talked about relationships, and we put this song together. Now the creative part of it, the number one thing that stands out is "Say My Name," was written. The song that you guys know now was written to an entirely different track. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, wow. To a whole different... It, I'm talking about it was a whole different thing. Mm. And at the mix session, the genius of uh, Rodney Jerkins, you know, we, we took a lot of time with the song. And, you know, y'all know Claude Chuck. You know, y'all yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And Phil, too. You know, y'all know when when normally when the producer finish, finishes his idea, the writers, you know, they'll come in and do what they did. And that's, that was the turnaround. We sat and we did what he did you know rodney went to another room and all that type of thing mm. so we wrote this what i feel is an incredible song so when we got to the mix session it was uh everyone's collectively first time landing on the song mm. so on the listen back it's like yo the song is killing the track the song is killing the track so at the mix session rodney said yo y'all gotta give me like two hours wow and within that two hours Rodney totally redid the track, which is what we hear now for Say My Name. Crazy. And That's think, crazy. You know, right. It's it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. crazy. And and to speak on it now, 20 years later, I think, you know, that attention to detail yeah. and just mapping out and everybody just wanting the best for the song. It takes a lot yeah, for man. a creative person to stand outside of themselves mm -hmm. and say, Hey, is this my best work? Is this the best I can do? So I commend Rodney absolutely for just Stepping out like, yo, y'all song is killing my track right now. Let me fix that. Crazy. Yo, you rock my world, shiz. Wow. MJ, King of Pop, Michael yeah, Jackson. Wow. You had the pleasure of really, I would say, arguably writing Mike's last big yeah. single. Yeah. And wow. I, and just, I, I know there's got to be a story or some inspiration behind You Rock My World. Take us there. Take us back to that. Was that 03? Oh, one. Oh, one. I can't even remember. That's a long. See, I feel old. Nah, I you feel so old, nah, you should feel great, dude. That's that's feel, that's timeless. Feel really, you should feel timeless. Man, really still old. knocks, man. You should it's feel so timeless. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, so man. crazy. Now, this story is going to be extremely disappointing. So let me build it up uh from the beginning. So um we got the call away from Mike. Um everybody was ultra, ultra hype. The first day Mike coming into record one studio in California. Like it was, it was a crazy, crazy thing. So of course, Rodney went in the room first, and you know, they went. We were there maybe some weeks prior, just creating, creating ideas. Started in Miami, ended up in Cali, went back to Miami. It was crazy. So when Mike came in to hear the ideas, you know, he wanted to hear all the tracks first. And the way we would do it is, we would do tracks because we knew that he was going to be hands on with the writing process. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we did melodies and all that type of stuff. Um, and at that time, Rock My Rail, we only had the hook. And the young lady by the name of Nora Payne mm -hmm. was involved with writing that hook with us. Mm -hmm. So we had that hook melody. That's all we had going at the time. And Mike came in, you know, when he heard everything. And mind you, this is my, um, this is my first time meeting Mike. Mm. The second time was crazy. Mike really helped me get married. I don't know if y'all know that. No, I didn't know that. Mike, Mike really bagged April for me. I don't know if y'all like Mike. Mike was an incredible, incredible wingman. Michael <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> Michael Hold Jackson, was, Michael your Jackson was your wingman. Mike was the crazy. All right, so I'm gonna skip a little bit. Just stay with me. So after we, when, we, when we left Cali, we went back to uh, Miami. Now I had just met April, right? In April, you know, uh, we were dating, courting, and stuff over the phone. And I finally convinced her to come see me in Miami. And I like, she's on her way. So I told Mike, you know, we was all, mind you, we, we, we stayed with Mike for two years. Mm. So I'm like, listen, Mike, she on her way. He's like, yo, this is the one? I said, my man, I'm telling you right now, this is the one. He was like, all right. 
This is how we gonna do it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on first. Hold on. Did Michael Jackson really say I? <laughs> Well, he said okay. <laughs> he definitely said okay. But he physically said, this is how we're going to do it. Yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. So, oh, man. It was incredible. So April came in. We was at Criteria Hit Factory Miami. And um, he's like, when she comes in, you're going to be nowhere to be found. Nowhere. We're going to sit her in the lounge. And then I'll walk out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I promise snap. you right now. I promise you. April's upstairs right now. I promise you right now. We, I was like, all right, all right, cool, cool. He's like, and I'm just going to set it up. I'm going to talk about you like, oh my God, like you're winning an award. <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. That's what we're doing. So April got there and she tells the story today like she wasn't tripping. Look, let me explain something to you. I don't care who you are. Exactly. Right? If Michael rolled up on you, you're going to trip, man. Yeah. Right. Sorry, April. Stop. We, <laughs> we, we introduced Mike to Jay, and Jay was tripping. Wow. Jay was like, yo, this is crazy. So April's sitting in the lounge. Nobody's in there with her. And Michael comes out. He says, April. And she looks up. She trying to she tell the story today like she wasn't tripping at all, but she was absolutely tripping. <laughs> and he was, like, he was like, oh, my God, I heard so much about you. Mind you, I'm in the control room just listening. He was like, you know, you really found something special. And April was just like not saying a word because how can you talk when Michael Jackson? <laughs> right. right. And he put the gas on so crazy. Mike put the gas. He said, I've never met a more gentle spirit. He's going to take time with your soul. Mike was the official wingman. Yo, Mike was, had Mike game. Was the, the definitely official wingman. And then I came out and we went to the mall. Uh, I had bought a, it's, oh, that part of the story, y'all don't need to know. I went to the mall and then we've been rocking ever since. <laughs> Nine, ten years later, kids, all that type of stuff. What you crazy. bought at the like, mall, man? Right. Oh, man, you understand, I'm from North New Jersey. So, you know, tricking is like, uh, 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 it's, it's hood tricking. <laughs> hood tricking back in the day is you, if you, <laughs> If you ain't buying your girl no Reebok Classic, right, 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 and getting the nails done Absolutely. with the squishy sweatpants, you're Absolutely. not doing it. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. You know for what I'm sure. saying? For sure. You, you, you did the right thing for the for time. Sure. For sure. The area. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's what that's that's what I was doing. But mind you, you know, she was unscathed and all that type of stuff. But getting back to the song. Getting back to the song. <laughs> so we sang the hook. Mike was like, can you, can you sing? My, this is my first time meeting him. He was like, can you sing the melody in my ear? And I'm like, oh, my God. I got to sing this nigga the melody. In his ear. So I start singing the melody. And he was like, I love it. I love it. He tweaked the last part. And he was like, just go here and it'd be great. Let's hear the verses. Rodney tells me you write really quickly. I, I want to hear some, even if it's just the melody. Let me hear the melody before I go. Can you do that? And I was like, um. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So I went in the other room. Now, this, this, is, this, this is the part of the story that y'all going to be completely let down on. So... I had to come up with the verse melodies and just the verse period. Mm. And I was like, oh my God. And the pressure was so crazy. I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I, what I can do. I like, I don't, I don't know. So I'm just going over melodies. At this time we had dictaphones. Mm -hmm. So I'm going over everything and like, oh my God. So I just kept saying like, yo, you got to start thinking like Mike. You got to start thinking like Mike. And y'all know in that creative process, mm. That whole thing gets flipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was thinking like Mike, but I was thinking like Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> at the time, Spike Lee. <laughs> at the time, Spike Lee had these string of commercials. Oh God. That he did for Michael Jordan. Yeah, the, yeah, the, like, the like Mike commercials. Was, yeah. The theme song was like Mike. If I could be like Mike. Now, if wow. you think about that, oh my God, Rashad. that is the verse we'll melody. Never be the same. I hate you. <laughs> Woo! So sick. Woo! That is not so a whack I, story at all. I, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. So, so like I Mike, if that, I could be like Mike, it's my life. Yep, can never be the same. Exactly. And there yeah. you go. You make me uh, sick. You, I love that. That's called genius. That's not called. Genius, man. That's not a whack yeah, story. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's 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 literally that's literally using your surroundings to make an amazing record for a legend. We sound crazy. We should have played the B Rock and intro. That I remember when I bought this, the, the, the 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 CD. I could not get off that. It was the first thing on the play CD. the intro. 
I could not to get off the record. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, play that shit. Come on, Phil. Mm -hmm. DJ Phil. Pick up your phone. We're on the request line. <laughs> Criteria, criteria hit factory. By the way, big big shiz. This is Timon Bacon. By the way, uh, big Timon. We out on? here, baby. Yeah. Salute. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you say criteria hit factory? That wouldn't be to happen to be the same place where y'all did full moon. Is that absolutely, absolutely? Can At you time, can you talk about like the the creative process of that record? Like because I oof. I the question is what the hell is it going on in your brain? Yes, because I don't listen to music. Like I stopped listening to music the same way I did before. Full Moon, like yeah. after that record, Full yeah. Moon, my full, ear just changed. Yeah. No, no, yeah. listen, before you <laughs> answer sure. this question, let's just say what everyone in the world says all the time. Full Moon was a, was an R&B pop black people game changer. Yeah. changer. Yeah. It's changed wow. the way every singer since then has mm -hmm. arranged, sang their, their, their diction, yeah. their style. All of that. Their, all that. their vibrato. There, everything has changed since you and you, you and Brandy got together and did whatever the hell it is you did. But I, but <laughs> I know you probably hear all the time. But it's it, officially on we we sound crazy. That's that's law. <laughs> like that, that. at least five at least five songs on the top wow. forty and on the R&B wow. charts right now. You yeah. change the you change the sound of like music. Brandy on that record. You change the sound that's of crazy. music. Period. That's yeah. crazy. So hey, now, I, I, now, now explain how you did it. Go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Honestly, I can remember the only thing that I remember about that era and that creative process was that it was the most purest time of creativity mm. in my life, I believe. Oh, man. It sounds what like I, it, what, man. it sounds what free. I mean. Yeah. At, at, you know what? And that's absolutely what it was because at that time we all know the inner workings now of the business uh when you go into sessions you know like there's so many details that we know now yeah mm -hmm. this was the time to where none of that meant anything because we never we didn't even understand it right we had no idea that there will be a result man. of the work yes man. all we ah. knew was we met this girl at jerry's deli and Brandy, I was always the biggest fan in the world. And I was just fresh on commission. I was the fresh church boy off of commission, off of the Winans, off of Derek Brinkley, off of all of these gospel influence that I had. And I had no idea why I loved them until I had to put that creative energy out. Mm. And it's just a mixture of everything. We were so free in being able to create that. One thing we did was be able to challenge ourselves. That's one thing that Mike taught us. And it was so crazy because we were wrapping up pretty much the demo ideas for Michael as we're doing Full Moon at the same time. Yeah. And the yeah. number one thing that Michael taught me was, like, Shiz, you got to stand outside of yourself. Mm. That not being, that, that not being uh, uh, bogged down with any industry business, like, okay, we need a single. Okay, it has to be rhythmic, right. or it has to be pop. It has to be our none of. We did not know what any of that was. We mm. had no idea, but the ability to stand outside of yourself and do a, a melody, create a, a, a song concept, and stand back and listen, whether you wrote it or not, and say, "Is this the best?" Mm. 
Like, is is this the best way it could be? And you had no problem with somebody telling you, ah, let's let's just try that one more time. Yeah. Or yeah. uh, that's dope. But that feeling, like my left nipple ain't get hard. I know it ain't right. <laughs> right. It's, it's true though. <laughs> Yo, you're you're, you're, de- you're describing like heaven on earth for yeah. for a musician. Like Absolutely. Yeah. that's that's Absolutely. Li- that's literally what Chuck and I moved to Nashville to 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 preserve absolutely because yeah. that's that absolutely. It, if 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 you're if you're a master of this thing it doesn't mean that's not what if billboard said you're a master or if even the sales said you but if if you have that deep 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 love for music that I know everyone on this in this conversation has then you're always right. chasing that little window where you can just be outside of yourself and be free and just absolutely. soar absolutely. and literally everything else is just trying to keep you from that yeah and and, and see and that was the time we had no idea of what those things were, yeah. like what, what what you and Claude have done by moving to Nashville and just creating this world, it really is the beginning. It it really is our our Garden of Eden of creativity, and mm. it's so crazy to have had experience all of the traumas and stupidness right. that comes along with this game, but being able to get back to that, yeah, yeah, I think that's it. the chase now, but. For, for everybody. Yeah. Everybody yeah. is trying to chase the freedom via even the business structure structure of being an independent artist. Like you want to have that freedom to create the way you need to. The way yeah. you need to. You know to. what I mean? So the way you need it's, to. It's crazy. But that's that's what Fulman was. And of, of course, being a church boy, I remember um <laughs> uh one particular song, the uh I thought. Yeah. Can you love me, yes you did. Can you do me, yes you did. Yeah. That's quartet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes, yes man. It's you quartet. know I know. Rodney, you know I know that quartet. When Rodney boy. was doing that record, it's so crazy when he was w- tracking out the record and creating it. Brandy and I were shouting in the uh, control room, like clapping, foot stopping, or just having fun as if we were in church. And when it came time to do the melodies, I said, man, I, I, uh, you know, we could. Her nickname is uh, B Rocker. Mm-hmm. Like when B Rocker got so crazy, I, I started calling her B Mac Delicious. Now I call her Mac. <laughs> <laughs> now I just call her Mac. And I was like, Mac, come in here and just repeat all of my last lines. Just repeat them. Mm-hmm. Like I had to, like, that, we had a full conversation about Kojic and what that was and what church was, because that's all we knew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so when she got the rhythm down, I went in the booth and every last line that I said, she just repeated. Mm. See, this, this, that this, this was, is what I'm talking about because people don't understand yeah. what goes on behind this. Yeah, absolutely. The mastermind behind those those the phrasing and those endings that everyone's been em- emulating and 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 duplicating. This is the source right here. But when you did, it was innovation. Innovation. It came yeah, from man. it came from pure passion and joy. Absolutely. Dang, light music. That's absolutely. crazy, man. You are and, you're and such an so inspir- inspiration. I feel I feel some. You know, I I appreciate. Um, being recognized as a part of it. Mm-hmm. But it's to me, in a sense, when you have people like Marvin Winans and mm-hmm. Fred Hammond mm. and, 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 and Keith Staten and all these people, that, that's what they were doing yeah. in the beginning. The, the beautiful thing about commission, when you grew up with commission, it was a tonality yes. and inflection on how they manipulated their tones right. yes. to just strike emotion. Yeah, man. Like that's that's what we grew up on. Yeah. And with Brandy, Brandy's tone is so crazy and so pure. It was fun to manipulate it and yeah. say, okay, hey, try this, because you knew if you came up with the idea, she was going to either execute it or take it to a whole nother level. Mm. We sound crazy. So let me ask you this question, because I know I know from songwriter to songwriter that there's the songs that everyone asks you about all the time because they were hit records for all kinds of reasons. But there's a right. whole back pocket of songs that came out that you wish oh. had gotten the same love as right. It's Not Right But It's Okay or right. Right. I Love God. I, right. or, exactly. No, but, but there's ones you're like, man, I wish this had been the single or I want people to hear this. So right. give us give us one or two songs that you would I mean <laughs> that, that 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 you're like oh, yeah wow. you should go check this one out because this is this is the one I really thought should have been. Yeah. I'm Boom. so I'm so mad that you asked that question, Claude. Why? Because this <laughs> this question sparks 
arguments <laughs> <laughs> and have sparked sparked arguments um you know in the realm of what's a hit record and who's a dope singer yeah, and yeah. when I'm when I mention certain things they're like you, you got to be kidding yeah but and it's so crazy because I, I guess I'll just stay in the Norwood family okay right Brandy's brother Ray J we did a song called One Wish that was incredible. I, I, it, I love all One Wish. All that type all right. of stuff. When it you was, finish, I'm going to tell you a story about that. It was it, crazy. Yeah. But before that, when Ray J had just gotten signed and Pharrell had pretty much executive produced his first album, and it was called This Ain't a Game. Mm-hmm. And it was Pharrell and Rodney. And there's a song up there. Now, mind you, the, the reason why I get into arguments is because Claude, and you know this, and Chuck, every, y'all know this in the room. Mm. Y'all know that regardless of the opinion of the artist, when they get in the room with you, it's a different thing. Yes, oh, yeah. always. Oh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. with Ray J, there was a song that we did called Keep Your Head Up on the This Ain't a Game album. And let me tell you something. After we <laughs> just show you how wrong be how, how wrong we be. After we finished that song, I ran around the studio, Enterprise Studio <laughs> in Burbank, and I'm like, "Yo, I'm telling you, this is the one. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This is it." Because for me, again, I'm a church boy, and "Keep Your Head Up" was an uplifting record. Yeah. Uh, and we were able to go in and out of narratives as it pertains to verses, uh, giving, talking to a young girl, and then relating the keep your head up to a relationship. So I just felt like it was our uh, uh, Phil Collins' Another Day in Paradise. That's uh, what I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that song. You know, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But nobody else thought so. <laughs> <laughs> You were all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you but hate when that, that happens? Record, I love that record. Crazy. Share this question. So are you, you back in with uh, Moesha? I mean, Brandy? Yeah, you know. Without her. <laughs> <Moesha>. <laughs> you, you, you're in the studio now, right? With, with, uh, with uh, B-Rock. With B-Rock. You you know? well, I'm not in the studio with her at this moment, but we are back in the studio. Okay. That's and, awesome. And um, I will say, Brandy, at this time, it's so incredible to see that all of the influence and everything that she's learned uh, turn out on paper and turn out on her creative and what she chooses to do. Mm. Even in doing her vocals, I'm there now, um, you know, just as buffer. Mm. It's, 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 it's crazy to hear what she pours out and everything that she's learned. In the beginning, Brandy did not do any shows. Mm. Brandy was not a live performance artist. She just, not that she couldn't, she just didn't do it. And now that she's taken the time and hitting the road, you all know that when you hit that road, that is a vocal yeah, gym. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now to hear how she does things and pour out is like really incredible. And she has it now. She has the direction of what she wants to do, mm-hmm. how she wants to do it. And I'm I'm pretty much just there as a, all right, that's dope. Do it again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's certain teams that are so magical together that as a musician, as, as a person that respects music on a whole, I'm always right. like, if you let me know when LaShawn's working with Brandy, so everyone else can back up. Right. It's like it's like you and Brandy and Babyface and Tony Braxton. There's wow. certain there's certain there's certain pairings wow. that yeah. wow. that that should never be tampered Cisco with. Cisco and Maya too. Wow. <laughs> oh, you shut Did up. you say Cisco and Maya? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> We got to chill. Man. We got guests today. You know what I mean? Come on. No act right. You sound crazy. We sound crazy. Hey, Shiz, so we, we know Brandy's being honored by BMI in a few weeks. You'll be in, in Atlanta celebrating? Uh, I absolutely will be there um, shedding a tear, uh, celebrating. Um, you know, I, I think I think it's time. I think it's yeah. time. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. With, with her doing this new album, I think that just that embrace from her peers, the people that she respects, everybody in that room and everybody that'll be in that BMI room, I think it's going to fuel her the way she needs to be fueled to go ahead on and finish up these last three songs. (laughs) 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 For real. 
Nah, it, 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 it's, it's time. I mean, the influence is is, is beyond what any, I'm, I'm sure what you expected, yeah. but also beyond what we can even probably comprehend just in this conversation. Uh, Absolutely. It, Absolutely. I'm we, just we, glad we, you have been a part of it. Yeah, man. Yeah, when, man. You talk, when you talk about songs and, 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 and arrangements that change the way people mm-hmm. sing yeah. yep. and write, then you're that's you're crazy. talking about a legacy that's un that's you can't shake. Yeah. It's not many of those. Now you have a legacy that can't be can't be moved, can't be yeah, taken man. away. You've changed wow. how how people view R and B and pop and jazz and gospel and everything wow. in between. And that's just that's wow. just that's not easy to do. No, that's not easy Dude. to do. Well, listen, it was the grace of God. <laughs> Amen. Absolutely, it's so crazy yeah. to, to talk to people like. It's crazy. I spoke to uh, James Fontlewoy maybe uh, day before yesterday about some other mm-hmm. stuff. And when I hear these people, when I hear people like Claw and Chuck and Phil and y'all, when y'all say different things, it, it, it hit a little different coming from y'all because I'm fans of y'all work. It's so crazy that I'm walking through the airport and I, I've always been deemed weird, even in my love for music, but I heard Party in the USA for the first time. <laughs> And I'm like, yo, I love this record. Like, yeah, and they're like, yo, you really listening to Miley Cyrus? I'm like, my man. <laughs> like, you don't even know. And then to connect it, the reason why I love it, because I love the orchestration of a Claude Kelly and how his mind thinks when he comes to writing a record. It's so crazy to hear you guys say things like that. And I thank God for it. But when it comes from y'all, it's like, man, I'm 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 just happy to know y'all, like to even be on the phone with people like y'all and have access to. So it's a blessing. The only thing I pray is that the Lord provides the window of talent that takes this whole thing to a whole nother level. Yes. And we have not even seen what he intends on blessing us with. Amen yes. to Amen. that. Yes. yes. Amen I, love, to that. I love that. As a fan of music, I love that. Yeah. And, and, and the feeling is mutual, man. We're yeah. honored to know you. All of For us sure. honored to know you. Cheers. When That's you come to Nashville, man, we need you in the studio. First of, all, come first of all, you got to let me in. And this is my last question for Phil. Oh, Bill, he had oh, a God. treaty going on because, you know, I wasn't allowed in Nashville. But as of today, let's, you know, shout out Meek Mill. Uh, his case was thrown out um, and he has the potential to have a whole new trial put together or not. It could be thrown out indefinitely. And, you know, he doesn't he's not on probation as of now. Like the whole thing is thrown out. That's awesome. And Jay-Z yeah, that's and as well as starting his Dream Chasers label with Jay-Z and Jay-Z being so instrumental. And that whole thing coming together. So my question to you, Phil Thornton, is if me, Claude, Chuck, or Timon get in any type of situation, can we depend on you like Meek had Jay? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Come on, Can we Phil? call the phone? Can we you... need to know yeah, man. that you're going to be there. Like, Who's going to answer the phone? That hard for us? Because mind you, Phil brought Beyonce through the back door of a gospel event. <laughs> he was like, yo, you gonna pull up or what? She was like, oh, I'm outside. Yeah. And he was like, all right, let me come out there and get you. Like, the, like, like when, when people don't know, when, like the public don't know, when you put together shows, there has to be points and they have in-ears and yeah. they have back lines yeah. and you have to know which mic she's Down to use. the second. And if all of that down to the second, yeah. Phil didn't care about none of that. He went to the back door, grabbed her, and just whatever microphone he had, he was like, turn it on. Right. And she started singing. <laughs> That's power. Shit, That's power right there. Wonder working power. Shout out to Mrs. Carter, it's, though. It's you called, know, we love called, Mrs. Carter. It's called wonder working power. Absolutely. So, Phil, are you riding like that? Like, are you putting up, are you writing letters from the chapter of SAG? <laughs> like, are you writing, which letterhead oh, are you Lord. using? To hey, get come us on, man. I got bitch. y'all, man. You know, we, we got you covered, man. No worries. Yeah, man. Coming out, we we we, we going to double what Rock Nation did with, with me, baby. We, <laughs> we, 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 we coming out, man. We doing sweeter deals over here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I love it. Yeah, no, I, I got you, it. though. But Shiz, you, you my guy. Always yeah, been consistent. Yes. And we've collaborated on some things, and we're going to con- collaborate in the future. But we got to get you here to Nashville, brother. Yes. Yeah, man. Please. You, you, come Please. on. You dropped so much gems and knowledge on us today, but we need Let you in the studio to co-host, bro. For real. Come on I, in. I nominate myself to be for the fifth member of this show. I, 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 don't know. I would love that. Definitely. Are you kidding me? I don't know if y'all got to have a meeting. I don't know if the board has to come together. <laughs> 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 but if y'all have to have a meeting, do it now because here's the thing. I'm not one of the guys you can say we're going to do this, that, and the third. 
and don't think I ain't gonna pull up. <laughs> the thing about it is, is we got acts up. I can pull up anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, let me in if I'm at the door. He's him at the door. <laughs> Open. It, it's really Claude Kelly. We all work for him. Please over don't, here, do so. don't do that. Don't do that. LaShawn, you have, you, have, you, have, you have a place here whenever you want it. Yeah, man. And, and shit, I only like the blue M- uh, M&Ms in my bowl, so just gave you the <laughs> separate, you know. Huh? It's in my rider now. It's the least you could do Boy, since you stole yeah. my publishing back in the day. <laughs> Dave, let me tell you something. They picked out, Bill, he drinks the orange juice, people say, with no hope. He only likes the pulp, and he drinks it with a spoon. That's incredible. I love it. Shiz, thank you, brother. We yes, will sir. see you soon thank here you. in Nashville, man. Yeah, yeah Much man. Much love, brother. I love y'all. Love, love you, you man. having me, man, for real. Love you, man. All right, buddy. All right. All right. Peace. All right. Peace. Dope. Well, there you have it. Man, That was those were some good-ass stories, man. Yeah. All legendary. All, All legendary. Legendary, bro. All excellent. Oh, that's why I fell in love with music. That's what that's what mm-hmm. it was. He he basically described everything that I feel yeah. as a creator about why you do it and the best times and 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 what you're what you're looking for, what you're yeah. chasing. Like he is you talking about what's a real deal creator sound like a, a a creative mind, a songwriter, a producer, a vocal producer, a mastermind. You just heard one. That's that's yeah, what it man. sounds it like. Just, and and the reason why I hold full moon for me personally, it's such to such a high standard is because I remember in 2002 when that record came out, like I remember feeling like I didn't even want anything to do with music anymore because Aaliyah had just died and 9-11 mm-hmm. had just happened and um, just so much was happening. I felt like there was a, there was this like paradigm shift in yeah. music and in culture period. And I was just like, I didn't feel enthusiastic about anything on the radio at the time. And then What About Us comes out. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yes, man. This is probably my favorite on the record. Right here, this is my favorite. Just be clear on some things. This is all. If you want to celebrate me. And if you want to keep me pleased. This is all. How it's meant to be, baby. I really need you. Yo, so like we talked about, Brandy's being honored by BMI. Yeah, I'm gonna let it ride. I'm sorry, I'm gonna let it ride. Y'all still going? <laughs> Shout out to Brandy. I'm yeah, going to stop man. calling him Moish on the show. I promise Yo, man. You. That's genius. It's genius. Yeah, that's genius. And for the record, Brandy ain't mad with you no more. Oh, you're not mad to me. <laughs> I ain't mad no more. We so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, what? Well. So, um, shout out to Stevie Wonder. Shout, shout out to Steve Lind. Legend, Steve Lind Morris. Steve Lind Morris. Yeah, so Showtime is uh, premiering the documentary Hitsville, The Making oh. of Motown. When? Uh, what? Wait, wait, what? Great. August 24th on Showtime. Uh, Benjamin and Gabe Turner directed the film, and it's about the story of Motown Records. Oh, our, Lord. Our good friend uh, to the show, Ethiopia Aftamarium, is a producer on it, along with Mr. Gordy. So I can't wait to see this, man. This man, is what are you talking about? That's I'm crazy. I'm yeah. glued. Yeah. I'm so glued. 
All you know, the you, way know you know, that's just the, the major inspiration for Yeah, you. man. Yeah. You gotta download my Showtime app for that. You, you better well, <laughs> you better download that download Showtime the show, app. Showtime got some good shit. You, you should download the Showtime app. But this is a, all the more reason to stick yeah. with Showtime. Yeah, I think I'm going to maybe do like a viewing party. So, you know, I always like to have a gathering. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to finally right invite us to the crib? Yeah, right, we finally get invited. Shade yeah. face. Okay. Right, man. This is y'all. <laughs> Crazy. This, this, is, this is some BS over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been if I live down the street here. Yeah. You got, yeah. got, got grass. I live down the street here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to see this. This is going to yeah, be interesting. Man. I just love because yeah. I'm I'm obsessed with great documentaries these days. I mean, Me too. Seeing, seeing the Black Godfather and yeah. seeing Quincy Jones doc. Yeah, on yeah. Netflix is doing a great job. But shout out to Showtime for shedding light on Motown. This is going to be good. It's been the best way to get the information about, about black culture. I think. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if we've been doing the best job with the, with these movies with, with the actors and like no, like the Aaliyah movie and, the, and all that stuff. Don't so that. I feel like a nice documentary. That Aaliyah movie was nice. It was Don't terrible. Do it was the pits of it. It was terrible. <laughs> 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 Timon said, said the pits of hell, my dude. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm excited because you know Barry Gordy is one of the people that actually inspired me to. Do what I do now, like yeah. I mean, being a record executive, being a songwriter, being a TV film producer, like that's all. Those are all things that Barry Gordy yeah. accomplished in his yeah. journey. So, yeah. and meeting him, I met him at a BB Winans event uh, mm. a couple years ago, and I was like shook. Mm. Y'all know I know a lot of people, but right. Barry Gordy, listen to your boy Barry Gordy and Quincy Jones, I was shook. Yeah, yeah. and it was mm. just like he was super cool. Man, it just, it was really, I just told him, like, yeah, you know, I'm in the music industry, I'm an executive. He's just like, what label you at, son? And, this, you know, just gave me a few gems just to live by. But it was really like, man, this is Barry Gordy. We sound crazy. No, but Phil, let me ask you a question, because you said, <laughs> you were saying what it felt like to meet Barry Gordy and mm -hmm. Quincy Jones. Name someone that you have not met that you feel that much respect for that would really sh have you shook. M musician, label head non-musician just the person that you really admire did I did I have me shook yeah the boss Diana Ross wow mm. the damn boss Diana and it's, Ross. it's crazy because Evan's my homie shout out to Evan <laughs> you listen to the you listen to the podcast so Evan I, I, I'm so nervous to meet his mom just because I, I really love Diana Ross Supreme Diana Ross Solo Diana Ross uh, Motown RC8 I mean all the iterations of Diana Ross but yeah Diana Ross would be the one um, I sang with her as a kid. Wow. Dope. I was in the New York Boys Choir. Me and, the, you know the songwriter, Little Eddie? Yes. We were both in the, in the New York Boys Choir, and we sang this song called What's, the Force, What's That Force Behind the Power, which was on one of her albums. And we sang it for her every time. She, a lot of times she was in New York, but it was actually, this is crazy. I was like a teenager, and we were at the Songwriters Hall of Fame. I, I posted a picture on Instagram almost last year. I'm, I'm going to repost it so people know what I'm talking about. But... Whitney Houston was presenting Diana Ross with some award from the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Oh I was too God. young to know what the Songwriters Hall of Fame meant, but she was performing What's the Force Behind the Power. We showed up, we sang behind her. All I remember was her hair, and it had purple highlights in it, mm -hmm. and her smelling so good, like what you think your fairy godmother would smell like, wow. mm. and her sounding so pure. Diana Ross floats. Certain people, certain people are just regular people. Yeah. But Diana Ross floats. Yeah, I would be shook to meet Diana. Miss I Ross. I should say Ross. Diana. Miss Ross. Ross. I'm, I'm, I'm addressing her as Miss Ross. Miss Ross so. yeah, floats. You know what I mean? What y'all know about this? Come on, B. What y'all know about this? <laughs> What you, what you want to do? Now hold, up, now hold up. Hold the fuck up. Because I love Monica and I love Jermaine Dupree. Oh, shit. But, but we, what we're not going to do is put the Monica situation on top of this classic he right now. He stopped the record. Let's try it again. Y'all want to close bombs for this one. The original. <laughs> love Hangover. Diana Ross, the boss, the legend, the original. Man, that feels good. Man, Woo! that feels so good. 
All right. Thank you, Phil. So good. Oh, um, if Brandy, I don't know if she's listening because I know Shiz was on earlier, but Timon wanted me to play this joint for you. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> why, you, why you say it's Brandy? You if so Brandy's cute. listening, Timon asked me to play this. So there you go. Brandy, that was not me. <laughs> that was definitely you. <laughs> Since you want to sing it, Timon. You say, I'm just kidding. We were chilling, watching the TV. <laughs> <laughs> we love Monica. Miami no, love Monica. I can't, Monica. Monica yeah. just had a number one record. Yeah, the number back, one song. Um, yeah. Yeah. Commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Mon- Mon- Commitment. Mon- Monica's, Monica's a steady force in R&B. Keep it real. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. We sound crazy. Chuck, what about you? Who's someone that you would want to meet, that, that you haven't met that would have you shook? I'm going to say Devante Swain. Wow, okay. He's so mysterious, too. He's a mystery man. Do you know him, Phil? I met Devante. Yeah, absolutely. How was he? He's very mysterious. A really... How would I describe him? He makes such beautiful music. Yeah. Like, like he, it's known for being aggressive and hard, but like what he be talking about and his melodies is so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just wonder what, what kind of person he is. Devontae I Swain. I'm gonna work into the message. You're the ultimate high. Why does that sound like Timon High? I took this out. Take my money. Man, but that dude is a genius, though. In every way. You know, I had to play my favorite Jodeci record now. This is mine. Uh, that's all good. <laughs> but it, it's everyone's favorite. <laughs> is it your favorite? This one and Love You For Life. Love You For Life yeah. is hands down my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Timon, what about you? Ooh. Um, probably Janet. Jan- Jeanette. Jeanette. Janet, Demita, Joe, Jack. Timon, don't freeze up like your boy did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't freeze up. I, I'm glad you kind of turned to it, Phil. I did. <laughs> I, I just want you to imagine, I'm telling you, B.B. Winans, thank you again, my friend, but it was Atlanta last year. I'd met her before and it wasn't the best experience, but I will say after the BMI event, you know, B.B. was like, oh, just told, you know, Gabby and I just, and another person was, who was with this? Was another person. Oh, just come on over. So we come in the door. I'm thinking there's, we're going into a room before we go and see Janice. I'm like, I can get my mind right, mentally prepared. Dude, we walked in that room and I just saw Janet like with her arms out and said my name. And then the was on the say, you're, you're in Nashville. Yeah. You're, and you're in Nashville. And I'm saying, I literally was speechless. Wow. I was like, I was like, I'm good. She was like, do you want anything to eat? Are you I was like, I'm sitting there like, no. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the thing is, what do you say? Like, actually, yeah, I want some mac and yeah, I'm cheese. Yeah, we'll get some wings over there. And <laughs> like, what do you like, say? Like, no, and but, a beer. <laughs> but Janet, it's just, it's like an enigma. It's like, yo, it's just, mm-hmm. yo, it's unreal. Yeah. She's a yeah. superstar. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. super nice. I love Janet. Like a lot of people rag on Janet for saying, "quote unquote," she can't sing. Janet can sing. Janet can sing, and it's some Latoya of the that some sing. of the sickest harmonies <laughs> ever, man. Like, oh my god! It's but yeah. that can't sing. Real talk: Janet, Michael, and Jermaine can sing their asses yeah. off. What Jermaine about Reeby? Dupree? I, I can't speak for <laughs> I can't speak for Reeby. <laughs> <laughs> you said Janet and Jermaine. I was like, Jermaine. I'm, I'm talking about the Jermaine Jackson. <laughs> Oh, yeah, come on, man. Now, Jermaine could sing, man. Jermaine was a pop star. Yeah, man. Jermaine got Jermaine got helped break Whitney though. Houston. Yeah, he, he sure, sure did. did. Boom. We sound crazy. I have a question for you. When Shiz was on the phone and he was talking about it being time for Brandy to be honored by her peers, right? Mm-hmm. I think that's true. Who else do you think is that it's about that time? Well, I'm hearing that Monica is going to be honored at the Soul Train Awards this year. I think it's time. It's time for that. Um, I think despite all of the craziness that's been happening with him in the last few years, Usher deserves to be honored in some I agree. sort of way. I agree. Um, let's see. Mary's already been honored. Um, I think that era of like 92, 93, 94, 95, people that are still here kind of doing it and still relevant in some type of way, I feel like they should be honored in some sort of, like... Um, Who you think, Phil? I agree with Timon's list. It's just because uh, we toss that word around, that icon, that legend word, a little yeah. loosely. Um, but I agree. I think it's time for the, you know, I'm happy for Brandy. I'm happy for Monica. And I think Usher's a great idea. Mary, obviously, is a no-brainer. Soul Train honored Faith Evans last year. Deserved. Um, 
deserving. SWV didn't they get honored for something? Yeah, um, it's about right. Yeah, I'm just. It's just, um, I don't know who else. I mean, Boys to Men, I think they could get a little love. Yeah. I think TLC, TLC too. TLC. Yeah. TLC. Yeah. yeah. I know. I just feel like with, with, um, because not a lot of people would agree with us on like Twitters and Instagrams. Only, and they feel like Brandy or Monica isn't a legend. And I think there's an unfair advantage of them being so still so young because people look at people who are supposed to be. It's a different. Honored it's a different world as now. being in yeah. their 60s and 70s. It's and I'm diff- like, no. It's a different world, and and and. and Celebrities become so everyday for us that it's hard mm-hmm. to separate people's accomplishments. But if you actually start to to piece out what Brandy's done, mm-hmm. the TV, the movies, the albums, the Barbie dolls, and the longevity of it all, then it makes sense. It actually does make sense. Yeah, it does. Um, for for Monica as well, like n- several number one records and lots of different reinventions and lots of different sounds and all kind of stuff. Missy Elliott, too. I have oh, to yeah. put Missy yeah. in there. But yes. I, I, but she's I'll, she's a, having a good year. Yeah. She's having deserved a really good year. I agree, though. Is anyone else? Who do you think, Chuck? Timberland? Yeah, you damn right. Mm-hmm. That's actually true. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. We Timberland. never like say, like, yo, you did this shit. And Rodney, too. Rodney. Rodney. Absolutely. Yeah. And Rodney too. That's for true. Real, I feel like I, I feel like for real gets love. Just, he he get his due. I mean, <laughs> 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 uh, he get his due. <laughs> I told him to sit down. That nigga don't need no more wars for five more years. <laughs> <laughs> he win everything. He's everywhere. Shout out seven five seven two up two down. Both of them, my niggas, Timberland yeah. and Pharrell. Nah, but Timberland, Timberland, in way in the background I for agree. the amount of. Legendary shit he's yeah. done. I mean, I he changed the sound of R and B in 1996. Yeah, in I my agree. opinion. Timbo the king, the king. Yeah, yeah, Actually, no, you know what? Let me go by what <laughs> what I was pulling up to. Let's go with that. I'm sorry. Let's be on some brandy shit today. I just love this record too, though. Let's go. Come on. Get, get, get on this song down. is nuts. What we about to do? Get on down. Brandy. Don't even think about calling. This is about Timbaland. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So, no, but I'm just saying we were having the Timbo <laughs> moments about people. We loved Don Brandy early in the episode. We did. I mean, yeah. it's just, we I, love Brandy. I, I, did someone say Boys to Men already? Is that yeah. Boys to Men? Yeah. Yeah, I think Boys they to Men. They don't get a lot of love. I think Boys to Men deserve some love. Cut Close? I don't think <laughs> Cut Close would make my list, personally. Cut Close. They back together, right? I believe they're back I, together. I think, I think the... Um, Lewis Short collaborations on the way. <laughs> You're so disrespectful. Why <laughs> well, we yeah, got to yeah, collab yeah. with Cut? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard y'all taking key spots on these songs. Y'all remaking Twisted. And just got, you know, <laughs> Twisted in 19. <laughs> y'all are so shady. Sade. Oh, yeah. I, Sade don't Sade. get a lot of love, yeah, man. No. But everyone, everyone references her. Everyone's emulating. Everyone's imitating. But no one's really saying like, yo, you the queen. <laughs> yeah. She Here's your award. That's true. I'll give Sade that, for sure. I'm so twisted that shot is a band. I still think that it's this lady who I'm looking at on the cover of this. Right. So uh, so do you honor the band or do you honor the band? The yeah, band. the band. Okay, got it. The band for okay. sure. Now that, that's almost rock and roll hall of fame-ish to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Agreed. It's you know time. what I'm saying? It's time. What's what are the stipulations for that? It's like what, like 25, 25 years, years and is there a certain amount of albums or just 25 years, right? And impact for yeah. rock and roll hall of fame. And I'm being not, white. 
<laughs> that's what that's what the requirement is. It took Janet forever to get a damn award. <laughs> Tell All how right, you really <laughs> feeling good today. Timon's feeling loose. Bacon from Macon. <laughs> right, right. Tell me how you feel, Timon. Yeah. I mean, am I lying? It's hard for you. I mean, it's like pulling teeth trying to get black people to be nominated for uh, in, to even be acknowledged for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I just I don't understand. And a genre that black people invented. Hello, yeah. invented. Hello. <laughs> The yeah, irony. the irony, right? We are the rock and roll, right? I'll say maybe I don't say maybe Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, people don't say yeah. about Lenny yeah. Kravitz, yeah. but he's he's been around for quite some time. Yeah, and Seal. I was gonna say yeah. Seal, Seal too. Yeah. yeah, I love Seal. Seal is such a mystery, man. But he he has a voice. As soon as you hear it, you know it's him. He's I love he's, Seal. he's dope. Kiss from a rose. Thank you, Phil. But when it snows, my eyes become a light and the light that you shine can't be seen. Man, that sounds so good. That sounds crazy. Yeah. Sheesh. But see, I, I love his cover of uh, Fly Like an Eagle. Yeah. Amazing. So dope. Seal is a class act, man. Quintessential yeah, class act. Me and Chuck work with him in, uh, at, Chuck, at your studio in LA. Yeah. Dope. Really? Yeah. He came to the studio, pulled up in the Bentley, and he was just cool, man. We yeah. wrote a song. He, he's just a cool guy, yeah. a great musician, and, and his voice is really that. It's the real it's, deal. It's the real deal. He went sure. in the booth, and we were like, oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's Seal. Oh, my damn. Crazy. I, I really don't want to speak out of turn, but I just feel like LaShawn should get the S or O award. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, we should sure. like, we, we, we like just we got unanimously, yeah, you know what like, I'm saying? Yeah, we give him an the honorary. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Irby. He's, he, yeah, gets he gets the doctorate. He gets the doctorate. He gets an Irby doctorate. Right. Yeah, the Irby MD. doctorate. Irby MD. You know what? I, 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 well, you already seconded. I'm going to just. Agree, emotion, yeah, third, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I, need, I, we ain't even voting tonight. We ain't voting. They say we ain't even voting. We ain't even voting. Shout out to Sean Daniels, you're yeah, the winner man. of this week's Esther Roll Black Excellence Award. What yeah, is that? man. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Okay. And Irby. Irby. And Irby. Esther Roll Black, Black Excellence Award. Irby. Yeah. yeah. Sean, you got it. We he, need did, he, he more than deserves. And, and, you, and you know, Phil is really Phil don't like to give up the award because you know Phil yeah, won it. He got it. It's like he's greedy. But if he's this willing, you might as well take it while you can. Shiz. Because Phil might change his mind. Crazy. Yo, so it's been a dope. This has been dope today, man. This has yeah. been Super a great, dope. Yeah. really dope Shout podcast. out to LaShawn, Big yes. Shiz Daniels. Yes. yes. Taking us down memory lane with Brandy and Rodney Jerkins. And Michael and, Jackson. Man, those stories. History. This is history in the making. Yeah. Shout out to our producer, Guru, for holding us down. Guru. 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 I'm feeling a little, um, How you feeling? Like a little Terrence Trent Darby vibe. Hey. Ooh. Yeah. That's the jam. Thanks. Sign your name. Yeah, yeah, let's do that one. Where's he at? Yeah, good question. At Arby's. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> Whoa. Shout out to Moan is on one today. No, I like that. No, no, the next week, y'all. Let's do it. Yeah. It's been good. Thank y'all. It's the vodka. <laughs>